Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another tutorial on mordifromiafi.com where you can find inspiration for your next Elementor creation. If this is your first time here, I do uh, experiments in Elementor and I share them as tutorials. I also include the JSON files in the description below so you can download it, uh, play with it, make it your own. If you want an update every time a new tutorial is up, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today we'll be creating this um, beautiful full screen stroke menu as you can see in the example here it's a full screen menu with a pop-up and it has this nice very minimal clean effect i took the inspiration for this menu uh, from this website from skyland films it's truly an amazing website really mind-blowing i mean the menu itself is just a tiny uh, tiny thing that i really loved and thought i can recreate in elementor but the website itself is just amazing so you see uh, this is the inspiration for the menu it will be a little bit different especially with the exit effects because um, the animation on the letters are is a lot more complex in my example it's a bit uh, simpler but anyways just going to this website check it out it's really 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 beautiful this tutorial is a little bit more complex than usual but don't worry I'll take it uh, slow and step by step we'll be creating a full screen pop-up and we'll be creating the header just so we can have something to click on to get to the pop-up and just the page uh, the page itself is just a placeholder just so we have something to work on it doesn't really matter what the page is first I'll show you um, the header itself it's pretty straightforward it just has um, let me put some background so we can see so all we have here is a logo and a button. This is a button widget, just without um, the background and everything, just text. And I also added uh, an icon right here. And as you can see, when you click it, it activates our pop-up. So this is pretty straightforward. I don't think you need uh, help on creating header. So let's go straight to the pop-up, add new, I'll just name it differently because I already have one file in here, close this one, now the basic settings, um, you have the pop-up settings itself, not the section, not anything else, just the pop-up settings, just to make it full screen, the width should be VW100, and the height also 100 uh, content you want it in the center you don't even need an overlay close button is okay animations we'll do later background color black we can disable the box shadow we don't really see it um, Let's just give it a color so we can see the close button. It's something like this. Yes, it's okay. It doesn't really matter right now. So you don't have to change a lot of settings on the pop-up itself. I'll publish it just so I can save it. Now let's see what I did here. Okay, so we have one section with three widgets. The widgets are also button widgets. Um, I use buttons because it's the best way to uh, create more effects on the text. If you, if you use heading, you can't put any hover effects. 
So using a button is the best way. Let's recreate it. Put a button widget inside. Text. We don't need an icon. We don't need a background. We just want the text. So the text is white. You can uh, disable the paddings and then you get it just like a text widget. Now for the uh, stroke part. I don't know if you saw uh, one of my first tutorials. I used the exact same effect uh, on the page itself. You can see it here. Creating the stroke on uh, the text. It's pretty simple. It's just a really short uh, CSS code. What you do, you need to put in the CSS classes um, Give it a class, stroke, and then in the custom CSS, put this little line of code. I'll put it in the description below, of course, so you can use it. Now, the thing is, you put this code only once, only on, in one place, and any widget you give it the class stroke, it will use the same code on it, so you don't need to recreate the code every single time. Let's just duplicate this. Just to see that you don't really need the code in every place, just in one place. Uh, we need to set the style to get rid of the color, and then you can see the stroke. It's very simple, it's just a very tiny line of code. Um, as you can see, we have it only here, only on the first widget, but everywhere on the website, every object you'll give the same class, the stroke class, you can see it here, stroke class, it will use this effect on it. I won't waste your time creating it exactly the same. <laughs> I don't think it's, it matters that much, but you can see we already have it, the effect we wanted. Now all I added to it is um, some motion effects. I really like to use this one. Now you can set the timing to uh, give each one a delay, so they enter the screen one after the other, not all at the same time. Now the thing is, we want to create also um, this animation, the menu coming in. And coming out so the, the menu sliding in we want to time these to come in after um, the slide itself you can see the setting I, I used here so for the entrance is slide in down and the exit is slide out up 0 0.6, usually a good timing for animations. So if we have um, the pop-up coming into the, into the page for this uh, duration, 0 0.6, so we need to set the animation for the other objects after that. That's why I started here from 800. So 600, 700 will be a break, and then 
the first heading will come in on 800, 900, and 1000. Now all you need to do is go back to the dashboard. You need to connect the pop-up to the header. So you go into the header that you created. Then you just click on the button. This will be empty, so you'll need to uh, click pop-up, open, search for your uh, the pop-up you created, activate it, and then I already set it up in the conditions to display only on one page because I don't want it on the whole site, but on your end you'll just need to go to the header and include the entire site and you will show the header in the entire site just like we, you would do with any other uh, header so now you can just uh, view the page it connects comes in that's it just works so guys thank you again for watching um, as always i would love to see what you do with all of these tutorials and json files um, so please share your work with me if you need anything, let me know in the comments below. I would love to help you. Uh, if you have questions, just if you have ideas for another uh, tutorial, something that you want me to uh, recreate in Elementor, I would love to give it a try. As always, I'll be sharing more of these uh, experiments. So to get updates, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Of course, if you need more inspiration, you can visit jfe.com. We have a lot of beautiful uh, websites that updates daily. And there's also a newsletter uh, once a week. And you can submit your own websites uh, for just to be featured. Until next time, stay inspired.